Hi friends, Mikey Demas here, and today I want to give you an update of what I've been working on and what's going on with my YouTube channel. So it's been a while since I uploaded anything to YouTube. Uh, the last thing I did was a while ago was a video for my signature guitar made by Manson. And there's a link for that video in the description below. The plan was to make more videos to share with you guys about guitars, being in a band, music and so on. Obviously I had really good intentions, uh, but for one reason or another, mainly some big changes in my personal life, combined with a really full on schedule with my band, it just didn't happen. I'm happy to say that I'm finally in a position to start making videos again and share them with you. So I'm stoked to get started. I've got a ton of ideas for videos that I've been sitting on for a while and a load of new ideas for videos that I've had in the meantime. So the aim is to make this a much more regular thing. So if you're new to my channel and you don't know anything about me, kudos to you for sticking around and watching this. I'll give you the quick rundown of what this channel is all about. Okay, so music is a huge part of my life. I've been the guitar player in the band Skin Dread for 20 years. In that time, we've released seven studio albums. I've toured the world more times than I can keep track of. Uh, we've played a billion festivals and met loads of really cool, incredible bands along the way. I've been really lucky to have seen and done some really cool stuff just from being in a band. Long story short, I was a kid obsessed with guitar and obsessed with the idea of being in a band. And somehow I've managed to pull that off for like my entire adult life, which is absolutely insane. I'm a huge guitar nerd. I'm an avid collector of gear. Um, I'm a lefty, so collecting stuff is a little bit trickier than for non-lefty guitarists, but I like the challenge. I also launched an effects pedal company called Redbeard Effects in 2019. I started Redbeard Effects with a really good friend of mine, Adrian Thorpe, otherwise known as Thorpey of Thorpey Effects. We've basically become this partnership of two people who dream up weird and wonderful effects pedals and manufacture them to a really high standard. We have a lot of fun calling each other up at random hours and like brainstorming uh, new, weird, different, unique pedal ideas, but actually seeing them made real into real things that you can hold and plug in and use is absolutely amazing. Seeing them out there in the world on people's pedal boards and in their guitar rigs and getting feedback and reading comments about how people are digging on the pedals and what they're using them for is literally just the best feeling and that inspires you to keep going making pedals coming up with new cool weird wonderful stuff that people haven't tried before like the first time i ever plugged a pedal in it was this horrid cheap distortion pedal that i plugged into an awful amplifier and it just created this wall of feedback and i thought it was the coolest thing in the world at the time i guess i was like seven or eight years old maybe i don't know at the time that's just the coolest thing you've ever heard and having the ability to maybe give someone else that feeling is awesome. I absolutely love it. So obviously during lockdown, there's been zero touring, which absolutely sucks for me and other people like me. Crew members we work with have been out of work. Skindred's currently writing new music for what's going to be our eighth record, which is crazy, completely crazy. We signed a deal with Ear 8 Records, which everybody is buzzing about. Everyone's been working on music, sending stuff back and forth. Uh, we've got a massive list of songs that we're all really excited about getting in a room together with and turning that into an album. We're just in the process of locking in a producer and all that good stuff, which will put us a little bit closer to getting the record happening. Also, Skindred's got a tour that's booked for the end of 2021 in September and October around the UK. There'll be a link in the description to get to Skindred's tour dates, that kind of thing, so you can see where we're going to be. Really excited to get back on stage. Um, I've been playing on stage for 20 years with Skin Dread and you know since I was like 16 since I was old enough to stand on stage with a guitar it's been a part of my life and obviously having that taken away by the pandemic has been totally totally awful as you can imagine so you know speaking for myself and speaking for the other guys in the band and all artists everywhere um, I know everyone's itching to get back on the road, on stage, doing that thing and, you know, engaging with an audience. It's not even just about like, I want to play a loud guitar. It's about having that connection with the crowd and not having that has been uh, really difficult as a performing artist. So on top of writing and that stuff, I've also been working a lot more closely with BIM. BIM is the largest music institute in Europe. They have eight colleges around the UK. I've been a guest at BIM loads uh, in the past, but now I'm working with them more regularly as an associate lecturer and assessor, which is quite exciting. It's kind of weird that I would get that title like 
that I know what I'm talking about about something. You get to meet students who are buzzing on music. They're really ridiculously talented and you get to impart like little chunks of rock and roll knowledge uh, on students and watch them sort of forge their musical identity. It's really inspiring. You know, there's this pool of talent coming through the Institute that's super talented and it's kind of a kick in the butt to be more creative and to check new artists out. So I've learned a lot in this last year. So being in this environment of education and music has not only been really inspiring, but it's really lit a spark of wanting to learn more and to be more comfortable with sharing information and feeling like I have stuff to impart and share with people. So as well as working on videos about guitars, pedals, amps, being a guitar player, I'm also working on videos about being a musician, being an artist, being in a band. I wanna talk about songwriting, production, performance, as well as like general creativity, productivity, motivation, inspiration, all that good stuff. Okay, that sounds a bit cheesy, but I'm just aiming to pour all the stuff that gets me fired up into videos that I can share with you. So that's what I've been up to. If you'd like to see more of what I've been talking about, hit that subscribe button below. And if you like this video, please go ahead and hit the thumbs up button too. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon, bye.